Okay, guys, the first step in our practical section will be to locate your mobile app, crypto.com, on your device, either on um, um, Android phone or on uh, iOS version, whichever, uh, whichever platform you are using, whichever uh, device you are using, just locate the app on your phone, all right? So that's it on my desktop. So I'm going to click on that. Now, if you've done your registration properly and done your verification properly, as directed in my, in my previous video on the account creation section, then it will bring you up to this page. Now, you're going to enter the same passcode you, you, you created during your registration. So I'm going to enter in this right now. It's going to load up. So if you have been verified on crypto.com app, it's going to bring you to this dashboard, okay? It's going to bring you to this dashboard. And the first thing first, we are going to be setting up our wallet in this app, all right? We're going to be setting up our wallet in EGP, and I'm going to be showing you that quickly. So I'll try as much as possible to keep this video as short as possible. So the first thing you have to do is to click on transfer, okay? Then you're going to click on withdraw. Then you're going to click on crypto. Then the next thing you're going to click here is external wallet, right? Now it's going to load up is because I have um, added a list of um, um, wallets. That's why you're able to see my Binance wallet. You're able to see my XLM wallet. You're able to see my XRP wallet. But I'm going to be showing you that in a GC how you can add your own wallet address too, okay? So don't copy mine. If you copy mine, I'm going to get your money. And I won't refund you. Honestly speaking, okay, that's a joke. All right, so the first thing you have to do is to click on the plus sign by the top right corner of this uh, app. That's the plus sign here. And you're going to click on add wallet, wallet address. So it's going to bring up this page for you. Cool. Now you're going to select the, 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 the coin that you want to withdraw from, right? Now, there are various coins that we are going to be buying. We are going to be buying um, sometimes Ethereum, sometimes USDT, sometimes Ripples, sometimes XLM, sometimes, um, which other coin do we have here? BUSD. Um, through USD. Okay. So the basic thing you are going to be looking out for is coins that you can buy that has low withdrawal fee low withdrawal fee and currently as i'm speaking with you um ripple is on a high side but xlm is on the lower side so i'm going to be going for xlm okay xlm that's stellar so i'm going to select that so here now it's going to ask me for the wallet address right here and the next thing is going to ask me for is the memo okay different coins have their different ways of adding the wallet okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to head over to my binance account i told you guys how to do how to verify your binance account in our previous section on uh, account creation and verification so if you've not done that kindly go over to that video again and watch that video again okay so once you come up to your binance you just click on wallet by the down right hand side of this app you see wallet okay so it's going to bring you up to overview page so all you just need to do is to either swipe left or on the top of this um app you see overview you see spots you see margin you see futures you see p2p savings and pool so you just click on spot right now it's going to bring you up to this page now you have to select the particular coin that you want to link to your crypto.com account okay and as the case may be, I am selecting XLM. So I'm going to search for XLM. So I'm going to head over to X. So I'm going to search for XLM. Okay, just a little bit. Let me search for that. My my own is already disorganized, kind of. Okay. Okay, it's organized now. 
so I just click on X, then I select that XLM, that Stellar Lumens. I click on that. Now you are going to click on Deposit right now. Now, take a look at this. Please enter both memo and address data which are required to deposit XLM to your Binance account. If you did not add your memo, honestly, you are going to lose your fund. So be very careful with this address and the memo, right? Now, look at this. Don't type the letters, right? Don't type the letters. Don't try to highlight and copy and all of that. Don't do that, okay? By the right-hand side here, you see copy address. Under it, you are going to see copy memo. So all you just need to do is to click on copy address. That's copy successful. You go over to your crypto.com account. Mind you, anytime you leave crypto.com account, it's going to ask you for password, a passcode. Okay, so I'm going to paste my wallet address right now. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to go and copy my memo. I go back to Binance and copy memo, copy successful. I go back to crypto.com. So it's going to request for my passcode again. I'm going to enter that again. Then I click on memo. I paste my memo there. Can you see that? I paste it there. Please don't click on this check memo. Don't do that. Don't do that. As you can see, if you do that, it's going to make this place blank for you. All right? So don't do that because memo is necessary for this. Now, I'm also going to add a wallet name. The reason why I'm adding a wallet name is so that I can be able to identify um, the wallet when I want to withdraw because I'm not going to be buying a single coin. Okay? So I will prefer you to write down Binance XLM. Right? So once, you are, once you've done this, all you just need to do is to click on continue, right? Okay, I'm, I'm just going to do that right now. This wallet address already exists in your wallet whitelist. Why? Because I already have this particular SLM wallet, all right? But what is going to happen when you click on continue is that it's going to pop up a page for you and tell you to go over to your email to confirm your wallet address. So you're going to go over to the email address and I will recommend you to use a particular email address for all of the crypto, all of the stuff that we're going to be doing on this training course, right? On this course. So just use a particular email address so you don't forget, okay? But keep it safe. Just keep it safe. So head over to your email address. You're going to see a mail. Then click on it and confirm your wallet address. Once you do that, when you come back to crypto.com, it's going to display that wallet address just the same way it is here on my own platform can you see the different the different uh, wallet addresses that i've done that i've added to this account i've done my TUSD, i've done my slm i've done my xrp right i've done all of those things okay so just go ahead and take that step once you are done with that, you are going to see your wallet address here when you are about to withdraw. Now, let's head over to the main stuff that we want to do in this video, how to make the money. Okay, I'm back again to my dashboard. So, to buy crypto with your fiat currency, what you just need to do is to click on, uh, on trade. I click on trade, then I click on buy. Then once I do that, all I need to do is to select the coin that I want to buy. And like I told you guys, we are going to be working with SLM for this video. So I'm going to be checking now. I'm going to select the quantity of SLM that I want to buy. Now, the quantity of SLM I want to buy is going to be displayed in US value, USD value, right? So 650 SLM is giving me $48.27. And right now, like I told you guys, the limit for this account is $100, right? But you don't have to buy $100 complete. You have to buy $99, okay? And Crypto.com has their own charges. So you have to calculate your own, their own charges together with what you are buying and make sure it doesn't exceed $99, all right? If not, your, your, your transaction is going to bounce if it, gets, if it exceeds $100, apart from the ones that are going to be buying $200 and above, right? So, but for this FCMB, we are dealing with $100. So, I'm going to select, I'm just going to be trying out some figures here. 
I pressed 1200 and I'm, it's giving me 89.12 so it's not it's still low so 1300 let's try that now it's giving me 96.53 now if I add the charges for crypto.com is going to round up to um $99 but first of all what I need to do also is to link my credit card all right so I'm going to be teaching you in a GFI how to link a credit card before we come back to this right so let's go over all of these other cards and my cards that I, I I linked to this account but I'm going to be showing you how you can um, link your own cards too all right all of these are the ones I've done for myself all right so all you just need to do is to click on credit or debit card and once you click on that it's going to pop up a page where you have to enter in your card details all right the card number the expiring date the cvv the first name on that card and the last name on that card now please note your first name is your english name while the last name is your surname okay just enter this the way it is on your bvn bank verification number okay for those of us who are in nigeria just do that accordingly for those who are outside the country who are all around the country african countries perhaps you you can as well enter your first name and the last name and this is going to go right so once you are done with that it's going to show up like this that it has been linked to your card right so what i'm going to do now is to go ahead and select the card that i just linked so i'm going to check for the card now um let me go back to my whatsapp let me see that okay six 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 is four eight and the card Okay, so I'm going to look for 6648. But since this is your first video, it's going to um, be the first one on your list because you don't have any other card. Okay, there we go, 6648. So I'm going to select that, right? So once I'm done selecting that, I what I need to do now is to go and transfer the amount that I need right the amount that i need to run this transaction and you are going to be needing 39,500 naira right but i will recommend you send 40,000 naira into the bank account that you are running okay so right now i've selected 1300 xlm which is giving me 96.62 dollars so i'm going to click on buy 1300 xlm now as you can see under here i have the total cost is 99.48 that is good it didn't get to hundred dollars so i'm going to click on confirm now once you do that it's going to bring you up to this page all you just need to do oh shit, the time uh, the price has timed out so i have to do this again okay i have to do this again so you just need to be fast right you just need to be fast because crypto fluctuates Okay, let me see if I can add more. Um, okay, so I click on buy. Okay, 99.58, that's a good one. So I click on confirm without delay. Then I enter my passcode. Hold on, let that load up. Okay. All right, the next page is going to load up for you is your OTP page. Now you have to authorize it. OTP means one time password, right? Your bank is going to send you a code, a six digit code in your mobile phone or in your registered email address, right? So all you just need to do is to check your mobile phone or to check your email address to get the code. And here is the page, okay, for me to enter the code. Now what I need to do is, if I'm running this card for someone else, then I need to call the person, the person sends me the code, sends me the code, then I enter it in here, and it's going to authorize this transaction automatically. And once that happens, it's going to deduct 39,500 
474 naira as the case may be from the person's account right so i'm going to enter the call right now it's one three one seven so that's the code so i'm going to click on submit so you wait a little bit but don't forget the the color is green okay so once you see a green color that means your transaction is successful okay um okay it's loading boom congratulations you've done it right this is successful so um we we'll tap on the page now it's going to you are going to refresh your balance and that's going to display on your dashboard so here we go we have 95.61 right so that is it so next step now is to withdraw this amount to my Binance account here i'm going to convert it into my local currency and the money is going to fall big time in my bank account okay so let me show you that in a jiffy now the next step you're going to do is to click on transfer now you are not depositing right now you're trying to take your cash so you're going to click on withdraw then what are you going to withdraw you are withdrawing crypto right then you are withdrawing to your external wallet you remember the way we set up the wallet in, in the in the first time in the first place so that's the same way we are going to withdraw this cash all right so ensure you set up your wallet before buying this okay take this training one at a time okay so I'm, i'll click on my external wallet so it's going to load up the list of all the wallets that you have okay right now i'm withdrawing to xlm right binance slm so i'm going to click on that so how much are you going to withdraw i advise don't leave any phone in this account right now if you go down before the dash before the keyboard you're going to see max just below the withdraw button you're going to be seeing max 1302 xlm slash four slash 95.54 dollars okay so i'm going to click on that once you click on that it's going to load up your balance here can you see that it's going to load up your balance so you don't need to add any notes right just click on withdraw don't add any notes just click on withdraw and once you do that it's going to bring you to this page be fast about it click on confirm then enter your passcode again boom the color is green so your your withdrawal request has been successfully sent to the blockchain all right so all you just need to do now is to hold on for it let it bounce into your Binance account and once it does that you are going to see the money in your Binance account then we do the exchange so as you can see the money has left my crypto.com account good so here we go right now as you can see here deposit successful you have successfully deposited 1301.9 xlm right into my binance binance just gave me that notification so all i need to do is to locate my binance app on my mobile phone and there it is i click on it i open it up so let me just go to the that, to the home page so let me refresh it so what i'm going to do now is to use the search button i search for xlm but before that before that let me show you a little thing you need to check how much how much your local currency is how much are you converting to right now i typed ngn because i'm recording this video right in nigeria so usdt to naira is 467.99 per usdt and uh, BUSD is 467.99 still the same value but most times usdt is higher than um busd is higher than ethereum and all of that right so in this case i'm going to be converting to um btc btc has a 1.27 percent okay let's use btc and see how much that's going to give us so i'm going to search xlm btc right So let me go over to the XLM pairs. 
So these are the pairs for excellence. So all you just need to do is to select the pair that has Naira, right? Now Naira has, let me show you that again, NGN. So Naira has USDT, BUSD, TRX, ETH, BTC, and BNB. So whichever one you are converting to, make sure it falls within any of these pairs, okay? So let's go back to XLM again. XLM. So we are converting XLM to BTC. So I'm going to click on sell. Now I'm going to click on 100% because I want to sell everything I've got. Okay. So it's going to give me 0 0.06 zero zero six nine 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 three eight BTC, right? So, like I said, one of our rules is don't wait for the exchange. Don't wait for price to rise. Sell off, take profit immediately because the market can crash on you, right? It can crash on you. So, I'm going to select one of the buy orders here, which is the first green. So, I'm going to click on sell. So I'm going to click on sell. Okay, it has placed my order. So that's my order with the yellow or tag. I'm the first on the list. Just added. So I have to wait for this to clear up, right? And that's going to give me instant. Can you see that? Uh, I now have 0 0.00699238 BTC. So next thing now, I'm going to go over to my home page. Use the search button again, select NGN, then check the BTC pairs, BTC, NGN. I'm going to sell off my BTC now to Naira, okay? And when I do that, I'm going to get 44819. Can you see that? Selling based on the current market rate, okay? Can you see that? It's crashing. That's why I say you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait. Sell off immediately. You don't have to wait. So that is it. 44771 Naira. Right? Now I have my cash. Let's see how much that is. Let me go to my calculator. So I'm going to do a rough calculation. 44. Mind you, when I'm trying to withdraw this now, they are going to take 300 naira charge. So, what I have here is 44, um, 400. Yeah. 44,471 minus 39,474. So, I have 4,997 naira, which is the profit I just made. Okay. This is approximately 5,000 naira because um, 500 is on uh, in that account and um this calculation is a rough calculation okay let's just do the withdrawal so once you've sold down to naira what you just need to do now is to withdraw to your bank account so i'm going to click on wallet and when i click on wallet let me hide small balances so i can be able to see what i have okay so this is ngn i have 44771 so i'm going to click on it then i'm going to click on withdraw Withdrawal because I want to take out my cash right now to my bank account. Okay. So if you've done your Binance verification previously, you, 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 you won't have issue with this. Okay. So all you just need to do is to enter in your bank account details and they're going to send you the cash instantly. Personally, I've already added my um, bank account details here. I, I just saved it so that next time I'm withdrawing, I don't have to keep adding a bank account okay you too you can do the same thing okay now look at the first thing here they said 300 naira fee right so out of this amount this available amount um, they are going to deduct 300 naira as the fee so i'm going to tap on the available balance but i don't have to include 
um, the decimals. That's the point nine one. So I have to remove that. So I'm withdrawing forty four seven seven one. Every other thing is left for Binance, guys. So see that now you will get four 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 seven one naira, right? So I click on continue. Then it loads up my bank account automatically. Now listen to this. I told you guys your your username, your bank name must tally with your Binance name. Don't make mistake about this to avoid losing your phone. Okay. So all you just need to do is to select your country, then add the bank name, and then add the account number. And once you do that, you can do it to save if you wish to, so that you don't keep adding bank accounts each time you want to do it um to withdraw okay so you can just click on save for next time withdrawal so after that you click on confirm withdrawal okay so i'll click on confirm now we have to do uh, this, this is a 2fa verification okay now you are going to send me an email address on my email sorry a code on my email address so I just tap on send code, it will send automatically. Then there is also a Google authentication code that, that I have to generate. Okay, now you, you have to refer back to the previous video to um, know how to set this up. All right, it's just for you to download Google Authenticator and set it up, then link your Binance account to the Google Authenticator. Right, so let's generate the code for my, for my Google Authenticator, and here it is. I've linked so many accounts to this, so I just pick the one that um, is relative to the Binance account, and that is what I have here, the second to last one. I have to wait for it to load a fresh code, right? So that's it. So I have to select the email code. So I go over here. This is the code they sent to me, 060707. 060707 once you do that you end you click on submit and the next page is going to be green our color is always green right our color is always green that's it withdrawal order submitted so i can view my wallet or i can view my transaction right so it is currently processing so guys this is it this is it all of these are what i have actually done transactions that i have actually done over and over and over and over and over and over again okay you too can do these same transactions you too can do the same transaction you see here this 93,000, this 93, this 93, this 92, this 139,000, this 93, 138,000, 46,000, 43. You, do, do you get that? Okay. You two can also do this. Now, we are not going to waste time in this. Okay. The alert is going to drop pretty soon. Okay. Without delay. This doesn't take time. This doesn't take time at all. Yeah, the, the whole money is going to land in your bank account so if you've done this and you've gotten your alert successfully then congratulations you've completely um done this step and i'm going to see you in the next video boom the alert just landed my phone can you see that a credit alert of four hundred forty four thousand four hundred and seventy one naira from flutter wave binance withdrawal can you see that so that is the way it works. So congratulations.